Alright, hello everyone, my name is Zenzen and welcome back to European Universalis 4. We are playing the Rise of Man expansion as Genoa. And there we go. Right, so in the last episode we had a uh, quite a big war with the Ottomans and as a result... Uh, well, it was in defense of Genoa, who were defending their Skio province, actually. And as a result, some stuff changed around here. We've got Achea. Ach Ache. Ache. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, which has now become part of Genoa. We've got this province here, part of Venice and Skopje, uh, as part of Serbia. So, uh, and I think maybe even some more. So, um, the Ottomans have actually... I've been dealt quite a heavy blow and that's I suppose it's quite good for us also it's good that we were able to help our ally our very important ally Austria because that way we are sort of allowed to conquer stuff within the HRE without having to give it back to the Emperor because the Emperor is our friend and he likes us very good um, Flanders there still moving back home after the war with the Ottomans very happy about my um, my junior partners in our union because uh, that way we can just enter a war and let them do all the dirty work and actually we moved back ahead of time um, so that our vampire reserves are actually uh, a bit more uh, replenished in comparison to other countries uh, and therefore we are now probably able to uh, declare war on Lorraine who don't have any allies and who we have to choose with until a couple of months from now. So let's keep it wor um, keep it up. Um, Brabant has embraced the Renaissance. Renaissance still hasn't spread to us, unfortunately. But we are actually very close now. As you can see. It's bound to uh, actually come to us any second now. What was that? Is that a... Present. No, it's feudalism. Renaissance, six... 31%, 9%. What's, what's this? Why is this not stripes? I don't know. There must be a reason for that. Doesn't really matter. Let's just keep it running. CB, France. You can actually come home now. Uh, what's going to be our next target? I'm guessing Liège. Uh, they are out with Cologne, but we already have claims until 1480 so i'm guessing that's gonna be fine for now mm, any other interesting target perhaps Savoy, but they like us so let's not do that right now also they are allied with austria could actually be potentially a good target for us uh, no not a good target a, a good ally i was trying to say um yeah we can actually ally them right now they are rival to venice and the papal state uh, but they are allied to Austria and Genoa. And of course, Austria is also allied to Genoa. And to us. So that would make a nice a nice treaty within the, uh, between the three countries here. Against um, more powerful nations such as France and Castile and England. Yeah, I guess that could be fine. Uh, the problem now is, of course, that we are sort of running over our limit. In terms of how many relations we can have. We have Brittany as an ally. Austria. Yeah, Brittany as well. I forgot about that. So we would have a very powerful alliance block, so to say. Um, I guess it could be fine to get an alliance going with uh, Savoy. They are a pretty... Well, it's not an amazingly powerful nation, but at least they are... They can supply troops, right? Let's take a look at their... We have a force of 15. It's not massively impressive. Uh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. And I'm not really sure what other countries would qualify. qualify. Um, don't want to go the way of Castile, even though they like us very much. Because they are rivaled to Austria still. Yes, they are. So no, I'm guessing that should be fine. Let's do that. Royal marriage. There you go. There you go. Assassination of Noble. Okay. Um, great. Uh, let's see. Let them solve it among themselves. Lose 15 legitimacy. That would be um, pretty bad. Um, but the nobility estate gains 10 loyalty. Or take control of the situation. The nobility estate loses 15 loyalty. Let's take a look at the estates, actually. 
I've also learned that I should probably increase it above 57 percent uh, 75 actually before we do one of those actions that I first did so that we get 150 power rather than a hundred that is good to know um, I think it was I don't know this one yeah so this would have been 150 uh, thanks to JN in the comments we know that um, so that's a good thing for uh, the next time around they will lose 20 loyalty because of that we can't do it anyway for a long time just yet. Um, so that won't matter. Uh, losing lobility, loyalty, I think should be fine actually. And 10 isn't all that bad. Manpower recovery speed plus 20% would be between 40 and 60. So we would still have that actually. Uh, monthly change, yeah, it's drifting towards 50. So let's actually do that. We will lose 50 at Mintech, but that's sort of fine. I'm sort of banking our Monarch points anyway, with the uh, penalty that we are taking, Renaissance. I first want to embrace the uh, Renaissance before we do anything with them. How's our forts? Are we still mothballed? Yes, we are mothballed. Very nice. Brittany having some difficulties there. Uh, actually, I think we might want to start upping our army maintenance so that we are ready for a war. Yes! Hello with Savoy. Very good. So we have some very powerful friends right now. Oops. Don't know if you hear, heard that. Um, apparently my PC needs to reboot. I don't want to do that. Let's quickly save though. Before it actually does that without my consent. It has happened. Uh, just this morning actually. Let me just quickly check. Because I don't really want it to do that. Um, no, I don't think it will actually do that right now. Mm. Well, I guess we're fine for now. Let's just keep it running and we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't like those automatic... Uh, uh, some, somehow the PC just rebooted itself automatically this morning. I don't really want this, that to happen again. Um, I think we should probably unmothball uh, this fort. Uh, if I can find the actual button to do that. Oh dear. There we go. Fully maintained. And this one as well. Uh, because those are close by to Lorraine. Just in case. I think we will actually join in as one stack. Is there a river from everywhere? Um, not, not from Franco... Uh, Fran Franche Comte. So we'll move there actually and you will stay there. And that will be the better way to join this fight. We're actually getting quite close now. It's going to be in September. So... Uh, yeah, September 1462. I think we should be fine. We do have a claim. Uh, do we have a diplomat? Yes, we do. Okay, so we're we're sort of uh, ready. Um, we do still have some aggressive expansion, but this is minus one, so it's completely gone, actually. Minus seven for Alsace. Almost completely gone. Minus 24 for Lorraine, but that's fine if we fully annex them. So there we go. Feeling confident, but that's dangerous, as we know. Truce with Lorraine has expired, and immediately we ticked over to full morale. 15-5 uh, looks good to me. Let's come... Immediately declare war upon them. Ah, Austria! I forgot about that. Hmm, the reign is part of the empire and Austria is the emperor. I'm still not quite clear about when that happens and when it doesn't. Uh, but I guess it's fine. Can we declare war upon Liege? No, Austria, we'll jump in. That is so annoying, though. Even though they are our allies, they will still join in on the other side. Uh, is there a CB that we can use so that the Emperor won't join in? I have no idea if that is actually a thing. I don't like it, though. It's sort of close, but war exhaustion is uh, going away. Um... Switzerland, how about you? You are allied to France, so let's not do that, shall we? 
Okay, so actually, we don't have any option at the moment. We might actually want to declare upon England, but they are allied with Castile. It's a shame. I guess we can help out Brittany for a second there. No, we can't because we don't have access through uh, France. Scotland, Switzerland, Genoa, and the Papal State. So actually, everyone would join in. Yeah, no, that's not an option. I'm just trying to scope out some potential targets here, as I always do. Cleves, part of the HRE as well. Anyone. Galra, perhaps. Part of the HRE as well. Yes. How about... Well, that's too far away. Utrecht might be interesting. They are being seized already. Holland is part of us already. Brabant is as well. Aachen wouldn't work. Such a shame. Such a shame. So the next time Austria goes to war, we will be called in again. Uh, because we are their allies, and that will sort of not allow us to declare any war at that moment, moment because we are too busy helping Austria. Uh, even though that would actually be the correct time to declare war upon anyone else, because Austria, Austria would then not join in to defend. Okay, so what if we were to try and get ourselves as the Emperor? I'm not sure if that is a, uh, a thing. I'm not sure if we can. We are not electors, actually. I have no idea how we can become an elector. <laughs> the emperor may take the following diplomatic actions, bestow grace, being the emperor gives some stuff. Okay, so there's not much we can do, I think. Do we have some interesting diplomatic stuff going on? Mm, claim the throne. Well, not let's not do that, shall we? Still working on alliances. I guess we'll just um, have to let it go for now. Such a shame, though. And I have to say, I, I sort of forgot about that. If there is any any sort of workaround around that, then please feel free to, <laughs> to leave a comment and let me know so that I can do something about that. I'm sort of tempted to help these guys, but I, I really can't. Holland has embraced the Renaissance. Okay, so I guess what we'll do is actually drop down our army maintenance again. Uh, we'll leave these two forts up. Why not? Split you up again, just in case. It's a shame. Um, Switzerland, you are allied to France. Uh, I still think we could try and build a spine network and get a claim on Bern. Uh in the case that France actually has some sort of a war going on. They lost again, Brittany. So bad. So very bad. How's our fleet going? 10 out of 13. That's alright, I suppose. Ah, so we are in a sort of a good position, but the HRE is sort of making life difficult for us, and that is a shame. Trade League disbanded, okay. That's good. It's fine. Aachen would be good to have. Oh well. Uh, perhaps improving relations with Austria will help at some point if we um, like them enough, if they like us enough. For now though, not so much. Galra. Yeah, no, okay. I'll see if we'll join on their end, actually. Uh, secrets in our alliance. We must get to the bottom of this. Ar arrest the ambassadors. The voice opinion of Burgundy changed by minus 30. Uh, okay, send a request for him to be re replaced. Lose 20 diplo power. Just try to cut him off from important affairs. 50% chance of uh, Savoy adding size 10 to the spy network in Burgundy. Uh, let's just do this. Replace... 20 Diplo is alright. I know I'm sort of liberal with uh, the way I spend the points, so we will have to be careful. But please, can we s finally do this, Renaissance? I guess we still can't. It's spreading. It's just not spreading to us. Eh. Provincial unrest is gonna be fine, I think, Barwa. 
In fact, I think we'll move you there to uh, help with that. I really don't want to have an advisor at the moment because I still want that money in the pocket of ourselves. My Duke the Great Power of Castile has taken on a foreign debt. Our foreign debt. Free of our debt, thanks to them. They like us so much that they paid off our debt. That's good. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure what they want to, uh, us to do about that. <laughs> I still am going to remain ally to uh, Austria, if you don't mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Spider Man nearly finished in Switzerland. <clears throat> Could offer Bohemia Condottieri, Hungary, and Siena. Yeah. I guess I want my troops close by in case we can actually declare a war. 82 minus 40. Domineering attitudes towards Lorraine and attitude towards enemies. I guess that's us. Blah. Such a shame. Okay, let's keep it running and we'll see what happens. Um, Alsace has discovered cancelled the military rights. Okay. Let's get ourselves a claim on Bern. So that we might declare upon Switzerland at some point. Although Austria will jump in again. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uncooperative philosopher. Imprison him. Lose one stability. We are at one. Uh, but the clergy estate gains 10 loyalty, allow him to remain free, lose 10 prestige. Would be alright, I suppose. Clergy estate, yeah, let's go for that. I, I'm not sure if that was the right decision, but... Eh, yes, it's fine. So, no good target for us, eh? Yeah, I guess there's really not much to do for us but to let it go, let it run, and see if there's any developments in Europe that will allow us to um, attack anyone. Any Anyone will do. Even France. Still allied to uh, the Papal State, though. But not actually that powerful, I have to say. And, of course, if our target is going to be France, then perhaps Castile would have been a better, tar uh, better ally. <sighs> I hadn't really considered the fact, though, that Austria would join in in those tiny wars of ours. Hmm. Oh well, let's keep it running. No wars yet. Okay, we can invest in new technology, but I'm sort of willing to actually not do it right now because of the Renaissance. I'm actually really hoping that that will come to us first. Uh, border friction, policy change, Lorraine's opinion of Burgundy minus 50, put a positive spin on things. We'll lose five proceeds. Now let's actually do that. They can actually hate us if they want. We do have to take care of these points, though, at some point. Um, Austria has embraced the Renaissance. We are starting to lag behind in a Renaissance uh, thing. I'm noticing. Ah. Okay, so it's actually embracing two provinces now. England has embraced the Renaissance. We simply don't have the money. I think we might... Want to do that though? Let's take out some loans and let's let's get to it, shall we? So yeah, you can embrace an institution. Let's do that. And I think that will give us a, a, a bonus straight up. Yes, we've become one of the great powers, and it will also uh, increase the spread of the Renaissance throughout our uh, empire, our country, I should say. We aren't really in an empire, I have to say. Um, new diplomatic actions, okay. That's good. So we have become a great power. That's nice. I like to be uh, a great power. Um, okay, so no penalty anymore. Very good. So now immediately we can do quite some stuff here. Let's go with the aqua... Oh. 
Half time, one year. Let's wait a month, shall we? And then we'll be fine. Let's get this up there. And this as well. And that will give us our first idea group to pick. And now, of course, the question becomes which one. I think I said before that I really want to try and focus on some kind of diplomatic idea first. Um, you can actually come home. You've done your work. Uh, because I want more diplomats or better relations over time, at least. I think that should be good. Uh, let's leave it for now, because we don't have any points anyway. And I'll, I'll hold off the decision until we actually have to make it. What's going on here? There's a war going on. Cologne, Hesse, Anhalt, and Trier. I'll show which chill. Still jump in. Can we do something with our power thing? Break alliance with Cleves. The yes, well, no treaties with Cleves. If they accept both countries' opinion of us will decrease and Cleves will get a CB on us. This will also create a truce between Liège and us, otherwise we will lose 10 prestige. Okay. Intervene in war. What can we do? We can intervene in a war if there's at least one great power on each side, and the side we would join has fewer great powers. There aren't really actually any great powers in this war, so we can't really do anything there. Uh, influence the nation. As a great power, we will influence the petty country of Liège towards our diplomatic position, altering their opinion of us by 25 for 10 years. They will also receive one to the monarch power category they are weakest in currently at Mintac for this duration. Their trust of us changes by five. Uh, there will be a one-time cost for us corresponding to a 12 months of their income, uh, currently 25 ducats to carry out this political maneuver. Would that allow us, for example, to uh, vassalize them at some point? I mean, I guess we could try it. <sighs> because that would be fine with me, uh, instead of actually conquering stuff, having them vassalized. Would we be able to do a royal marriage? No, it's because it's a bishop thing. Lorraine doesn't like us. Perhaps that might be a better option at the moment, though. Member of the Empire, minus 75. Does that work for them as well? Because they are part of the Empire, right? Are they? Yes, minus 75. That's pretty bad. <laughs> um, we're getting military power compared to the threatened attitude towards Burgundy. I guess I'm not sure if it would work, to be honest. And then we would just be stuck with a uh, not-so-powerful ally. Really, though, Austria would have to be in a war at some point for us to be able to uh, do some stuff here. We have our claims in, in place. Actually, we don't have a claim in Trier yet. Um, declare war, Austria would join in. Yeah, but we can actually fabricate a claim, so let's build a spine network. As we can just... There's a lot of stuff bordering us, so there's a lot of uh, options for us. Oh, well. Uh, clergy condemns a philosopher as a heretic. Uh, support clergy, lose one stability. Missionary strength plus one, technology cost plus five for ten years. Or support the philosopher, lose one stability as well. Technology cost minus five. Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna be fine. This will drift back up. Uh, we are losing some money because of this. It's sort of fine for now. Oops. So how is the spread of the renaissance going? Let's take a look at that. It is spreading somewhat, not quickly, but eh, it's good. They incur extra costs, okay. <clears throat> Advise estate maintenance, interests, not sure if that actually slows shows up here. Colonial maintenance, reserve army maintenance. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, fine. Let's keep it going, keeping a an eye on Austria. Who likes to have Condicieri though? Alsace, Bohemia, Brandenburg, Cleves, and the Palatinate. Saxe, Lauenburg as well. Nah. 
I don't know. Oh, Austria, what are you doing? You're moving around. Not really going anywhere. I guess you're helping somewhere. Savoy is embraced around. Sounds okay. No, you aren't really doing anything. Okay. And still, we have no option here. England has started to influence nation on uh, Lanster. Will change by 25 for 10 years or until war breaks out, okay? Guess we'll just quickly speed this up. You are doing something. Are you moving? Just moving. I don't know. Maybe you're preparing for some kind of a war. That would be very good for us. Influence nation. Hmm. Seal of confession. And uh, their sins may have interest, even if we can't absolve them. Burgundy adds 25 to their spy network. Mm, or unthinkable. Let's go for unthinkable. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of curious what Austria is uh, thinking of doing here. Mm, Switzerland is in a war. With Württemberg. Okay. Is France in a war as well? No. Still allied? Yes. Do we actually have a claim on this? Yeah, we do. So we would actually be able to attack any country that we would like. Uh, okay. If it's now 56%, yes. Great expectations. Uh, political marriage is um, as much a union as it's a contract of mutual support. Yeah. Um, the Duke will heed the advice of the consort and actively look after their and his interests. Anything for our dear consort, the crown will pay off some of the de Gramont debt, lose 32 ducats. Uh, the de Gramont family will remember that we came to their help. Or lose 10 prestige and gain local autonomy. No, let's, let's just do the 32 ducats thing. France is influencing the nation Switzerland. Okay. Brittany, what do you think of us? Vassalization would be nice. No, that's not an option. Too large, basically. Well, that was weird. Uh, I guess we can now finally take this, yes. Neighbor bonus, ah. Uh, okay, can now build barracks. And we can get the tree thingy going. Embrace Renaissance, Embrace Renaissance. Let's get a claim on Trier, on Trier itself. CB, a gift, 23 uh, ducats. Ah, this might be due to their kind-hearted personality. Thank you, Austria, very nice. Now, will you please let us just declare war on Lorraine? And then I think that would be best. Warned by Austria. Huh, that's interesting. Oops. Um, who are you out with? Cologne and Mines should be fine. Still no options, though. You know what? I think we'll put in a cut here. Um, sort of annoying that we can't really do anything, even though we are allied to Austria. I'm, I'm going to do some research into that and see if there's any um, solutions to that, because that's, that's going to be sort of uh, halting our... Progress even though we are now able to actually uh, do something looking at our um, Coalition map mode here. There's no grass expansion anymore nearly no grass expansion uh, But we aren't able to um, to convert that into a war. So yeah Something to think about we might actually want to sort of try and integrate someone But at some point we will actually inherit probably uh, Holland and stuff But if we do that we might actually have some more targets, although all of these targets are actually in the HRE as well, so it won't make that much difference. 
Right, as I said, I will do some research and see if there's any options that we can take. If you have any ideas, then uh, feel free to leave them down below. Um, yeah, so for now, thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.